Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another single-player episode. Uh, this time around, I think we're going to haul over... No, I can't remember what I was going to do. I think I'm actually going to... Um, maybe use the loader and load up some more logs. So, we parked a trailer somewhere back here. I think we bought... Yeah, we did buy another one. Good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this sucker all the way out to the bush. And we're going to try loading it up. Um... I don't know if we have enough shorts to do it all in one shot, but we can give it a try here and see how it goes. Loads are still parked there. Well, that's good. So, yeah, we're going to try to uh, maybe load this guy up with longs and shorts. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes here. Might be able to just do longs, and then uh, what I really wanted to do was splice in some of those... Uh, some of those shorts or the tops and see if we can make kind of a cradle load that's kind of the idea today we still have all these shorts here so how much do we have on the ground here for shorts see it's not lots so i'm gonna get really crafty here is what i'm gonna do so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to we're going to load it up with logs to build a base, and we're actually going to pack those short logs in the load with it. So let's separate our uh, bunks here. Just want to make it a long log load. I'm going to park it right about here. Maybe back a little bit. Right about there. I think we get. Well, let's park it there. I'm going to grab this bad boy. Now we get to test our loader skills. Alright, so let's turn a little light on, because I actually really like having a light on when I'm running these things. Uh, I kind of want to dig this stuff out of here, because I think if I run it over, it's going to trip out my pile a little bit. Now we're, we'll just give it a shot and see what happens. Stuff flies, stuff flies, that's how she goes. Alright, so I want to be about here, I think. Turn that way a little, there we go. Yeah, that should be uh, reasonable, I think. So let's build a base first, so we can have some bigger stuff if we can get a hold of it here. Probably do more than that. There we go. We're gonna do butts ahead on this one. All right. So now this is where we build kind of our little cradle. So. Trying to get some of these small pieces to the outside if we can. And I want to drop this big, big one right in the middle if I can get it. I want it right down in this little hole here. How about right there? I should be able to just kind of go to press and it'll all settle right out where I want it. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So now you can see... Oh, I'll get out and actually show you. You can see we kind of got a bit of an arc happening already. It's kind of a bit of a hole that's kind of forming in the center. We still got a little space here, though, so maybe we'll... So now I'm going to grab another bundle out of that pile, and I'm going to throw it on the other side. So I need to scoop some of these big guys again. And like I said, this one I want to put kind of on the other side, because we already have kind of an arc happening on this side. I want to kind of build it up a little bit here. There we go. It's not so bad. There we go. Also not so bad. Now, the idea is that we want to... If I can get that one to kind of stay... Whatever, that's probably close enough. So what I would like to do is grab some shorts from this pile. Maybe we'll give them a little bit of a tightening up there. And I'm going to sprinkle them right in here. And this is what you can do with tops too. You just don't want to stack them too, too high. Because there's only one stake. Technically, I could pull the stakes back, but that's not really the point of what we're trying to do here. So, Now, we also do not have a middle stake, so we can only do this on two ends. And that 
let's throw this one in here. Kind of right in our stakes there a bit when we were lifting the opening the claw, so gotta be careful. Okay. Now we actually probably can put some in the middle because there is enough of a cradle there that we could probably do it. Just I don't know how many. Probably that's probably as much as we'll be able to get. Well, I should should be able to do this with two separate loads and clean up the rest of these shorts. So should have left just enough space to kind of trickle a couple in here. Oops. That's what I mean, you gotta be careful with that metal stake or else you're gonna lose everything here. Oops. Stop, stop, stop. Go bird. There we go. Okay, so. Let's see here, how's that looking? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes here. Yeah, maybe try to bury it here and see what happens. Can grab a big old armful of these guys. And I'm going to start with the outside because once if I fill in the front side, I won't be able to see anymore. Fill in that side. Make sure it's where you want to drop it because you won't be able to wiggle it around much after you drop it in there. And I'm going to do another uh, another grab butts ahead just because everything's kind of butts ahead on this load, which is fine. We can taper it to the front and it's not going to hurt anything. I'm just going to figure out where my edges are here. That looks good. Oops. Not quite. Let's see if I can scoop that one back in there. Ah, it'll fall out. Ah, you better. That one's gonna be a little, a little wiggly. There we go. Just knock it right off there. Alright, let's see if I can press this down a bit. One more there that decided to pop over the edge. So let's see if we can do a little scoop and drop it back in there. At least it's on the back one, that's good. Okay. I'm gonna grab this one here as well. So now our oops, ah oh shit. Now our uh, our butt end is kinda kinda down and out. So what I could do is I could throw these together. Oh careful, careful, careful. This guy decided to pop out of there. Kind of a wacky load, this one, but it's uh, fun to try to build. This kind of, some of our pieces aren't exactly lined up there, so that's, that's okay. So I'm going to grab uh, this entire grab, actually. I'm going to do butts to the rear this time. Oof, that's heavy. Alright, so then I should be able to drag it over the old stuff and just kind of gently drop it right in there. The theory, anyway. There we go. It's not so bad. Okay, so uh, that's kind of all we got for long the top or the uh, the base stuff. I'm gonna lock that up and call that a load. Maybe I'll take that one off. That's trying to fall off there. This one's being a little. A little irate here, so let's get that out of there. That looks pretty good, hey? Almost deserves a picture. Alright, so we'll lock this guy up. It's kind of a weird load, that one, but we got the shorts kind of tucked in there a little bit. And we got some longs in there. And like I said, our short pile is getting a lot shorter, so that's good. I think in the next one we're going to have to do some more processing, though, because uh, I don't think we have enough for one more load. Let's take this one back to our little parking area there, drop them off, and, uh, yeah, I think we'll be uh, a little bit more up to date now.
it's always fun playing with loads to see what you can make and what you can do. It's just a joy of my, uh, joy of my gameplay is just to see what you can do with loads. Okay, so maybe we'll put this one. Oh, we'll back them in there. We'll put them all in there. You know what I should do is come through with a through with a machine of some sort and clean all this out so I can make a nice big parking area. I was going to park it in the middle, but the gate is just way cooler, man. There you have it. Okay, so let's buy ourselves another trailer. Trailer, trailer, trailer. There we go. Buy ourselves another trailer. Hook this bad boy up, and I think that'll probably be pretty close to the end of the video here. Actually, maybe we'll bring this one right out to the bush, and then that'll be the end for sure. If we go over, what's it gonna hurt? We should also get a chipper and clean up some of this old crap in here, but whatever. No big deal. Then we gotta head back up the mountain to some of those other spots for your uh, hauling as well. It's fun to do this kind of on the ground stuff too, though. It just makes it uh, a little bit different. I'm hoping to the Lord that in 2019 the performance levels will be uh, significantly better so that maybe we can get away with doing a little more logging and stacking and piling because that would be a blast. But I got a pretty good sneaking suspicion that the physics engine hasn't changed at all, so. There might be new variables, new additions to the physics engine, but I don't see it actually changing. Alright, so I'm going to park this guy right over here, because we're not exactly sure what the plan is for how we want to get stuff going. Um, maybe one more thing before I go. I might move this pile of wood over to this pile. Because then we're probably going to mix in some more tops and some more shorts and make a big party out of it. And I don't care about how straight they are. They could be uneven as all hell. Don't hurt my feelings, none. And grab this one. Must have hit a stick, there it goes, flying away into the wilderness. I just want it over here so that when we do our loading from that next position, we're really close to all the wood. And then I don't have to be hiking back and forth with the truck and the loader. Okay. Beauty. And we're going to grab this one. And then we'll fish it all out of there when we need it. Alright, so I'm going to park it here and I'm going to call it good on this video. Uh, we come back in the next one. We'll probably do a little bit more processing just to kind of get a little bit more of the uh, more of the, the uh, longs mixed in the pile there. So that'll be good. Uh, once we get some more longs, we'll be able to build some better loads. We'll be able to stuff all these shorts in there and just kind of have a good time with it. So, um, If you guys like the video, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a suggestion. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, you're crazy and need to hit that subscribe button. But, uh, yeah, I think we're going to leave it here, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.